to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Sandra and today I have a huge Black Friday makeup haul for you. And yeah, I know I'm a little bit late, I'm sorry, but I've ordered it online and I've received it a few days ago, so pretty late. But I'm excited to share all these products with you, I hope you too. So yeah, if you want to see what I've bought during the Black Friday week, then just keep on watching. So here's the box with all of the products and I will start right away to keep this video as short as possible. And I will start with a brush. This one is from Real Techniques, it's the Stippling brush. And yeah, I've seen this brush in so many YouTube videos and people seem to like it. Um, yeah, I'm more the beauty sponge person. I have one stippling brush right here in the back. Um, it's from Soeva and yeah, I don't like it because it takes away all the moisture from my face and from the primer, my moisturizer and my foundation and the foundation looks so bad and cakey and my skin is very dry after I've used it so I just stopped using it. So yeah, and now I thought it's time to give uh, these brushes a Another try, and I think you can also use that um, for, I would say, I don't know, bronzer or blush because it says that it's um, for applying all types of makeup. It's soft, not too soft, but I think um, this could give me a good result. Um, yeah, I'm definitely very excited to try this out, and yeah, if it doesn't work for foundation. That's the main reason why I've bought this. Um, I think I will use it for bronzer or blush. But yeah, I like it. I'm very happy that I've bought it. And I would say oh, let's move on to the next product. Here I've got an oldie but a goodie. And it's the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And guys, I just love this bronzer. I think I've bought it already three or four times. Um, yeah, it's it's just, in my opinion, one of the best bronzers ever um, because the formula is very buttery, like the name says. Okay, there's no shade on it, but um, there were three different shades, a light one, a medium one and a dark one. This is the medium one and this color is just perfect for me and the smell is incredible. It smells like a little bit like pina colada. Um, like coconut, um, something like this. It always reminds me so much of summer. It's just good. So if you love uh, good smelling beauty products, then I can definitely recommend this to you. It's so good. And for my skin tone, this uh, color is perfect because I think the lighter one would have been too light and the darker one is way too dark. So I always take the medium one and it also has a little mirror in it, that's good, because I like it when beauty products have a mirror in it because you never know if the place where you want to put makeup on has a mirror. And it also has a little applicator. It feels like a sponge. And I've tried it out once and I was pretty impressed. It looked very good and I really didn't expect that it would work, but it works. But I didn't use it because I think it's a little bit weird to apply it with a sponge. I always take my normal brush, um, my bronzer blush, blush, no brush, um, but it also works. So if you don't have a brush, don't worry, this works very good. But if you buy this, just keep in mind, this little guy here gets destroyed very quickly because um, I think I've dropped two and it's just uh, fell apart in um, a thousand pieces and I think one got destroyed because I put too much pressure on the product with my brush. Um, yeah, and this breaks very easily because it's very buttery so I think that's the reason. But I love this product, I can recommend it to you very highly and enough rate about this product. Let's move on to the next one. Next I've got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Golden Beige. And I bought 
this foundation mainly because I've seen it on so many YouTube channels and people seem to like it and it was very affordable so I just thought let's give it a try and yeah I'm pretty sure that this is way too dark for me on the website the shade looked okay and I thought okay maybe it could fit but no, I don't think so, but I have lightning drops so I can adjust the color a little bit. I like the packaging, it's a glass packaging. Here on the back it says that there should be no photo flashback if you're taking pictures. Um, that's good, but there is uh, nothing else or no else description what it's supposed to do. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit uh, suspicious. Let's see, let's open it. Okay, I don't like the smell. That's, that's a really disgusting smell. I hope it fades away when I have it on my face. And it has a little spatula, so you can apply it on your face. I prefer foundations with a pump because I think that's pretty unhygienic if you're just applying it right onto your face and then back into the bottle. But yeah, that's the way it is. If you want to see me testing out all these products and give you my first impressions and review about all these products, then let me know it in the comments. Just write it down below. I would love to do this video for you. And yeah, but anyways, let's move on. Next, I've got a lip mask here. It's from the brand Coco Star. And it's called Pink Peach Flavor. Um, yeah, I've never tried a lip mask before but I've seen it on the website and I was pretty curious to try out the lip mask once in my life or for the first time in my life um, yeah I don't expect too much it says that it's a hydrogel lip mask to moisturize dry and check lips that's good because my lips are nearly always very dry and I also have um, lots of fine lines on my lips and I hope they fade away or this lip mask makes it a little bit better. I don't know, have you ever tried a lip mask before? Um, let me know it in the comments. I would love to hear your opinions about lip masks. Next I've got the Dark Circle Concealer from NYX and like the name says, it's a concealer but it's in such a peachy, orangey tone and this helps cancel out discoloration underneath the eyes um, especially blue and purple tones and yeah right now at the moment you can't see it um, because I'm wearing concealer but especially here in my inner corners I have very dark circles and lots of blue and purple colors going on so something like this can help to cancel it out and I have another color correction pen that is a little bit darker than this and I always can see a difference when I'm using it but most of the times I just forget to apply it to be honest but yeah I just want to try this out I hope it's creamy because um, my under eye area is extremely dry and so I'm always looking for hydrating makeup and skincare products but yeah let me see okay it only says that it's um, a corrector yeah, there is not uh, much information on packaging, but anyways. So next I've got another tiny makeup product here from NYX and it's the Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in the shade Brunette. I'm lately very into these brow pomades because um, in my opinion you can work extremely precisely if you have the right brush um, and I can never do my eyebrows very precisely and on a flick um, when I'm using a brow um, pencil. So yeah, just taking uh, brow pomades lately. This one that I'm wearing right now is a little bit too dark. I think now it's okay because I have a full face of makeup on but if I'm wearing only a little bit of foundation and concealer and mascara it's in my opinion too dark. So I'm looking for a good color that fits to my hair but all the brow pomades that I've bought are either too light or too dark and the light one is just horrible 
but I think this one could be okay. I don't know, it's very ashy. On the website it was definitely darker, so yeah, let's see, I don't know, maybe it works, maybe it looks better on my face, but I think I will stop buying brow pomades and foundations online because um, yeah, um, I don't think that um, this foundation has the right shade and uh, this brow pomade too, but <coughs> sorry, maybe I'm wrong, but let's move on to the next product and it's from Wet n Wild, the highlighting powder and it's so beautiful, I like it, it has a little flower on it. Okay, it has a beautiful sheen, there is no glitter in it. I really like the packaging, it's so beautiful and also very lightweight but it doesn't feel um, cheap at all. This is another product that I've only bought because I've seen it on so many YouTube channels, um, especially on the channel from Kathleen Lights and I think she really liked it and also the foundation and I like her so I bought it. Guilty, but yeah. Anyways, um, okay, there is no description, it's a highlighting powder and yeah. I think this video is already too long so let's move on to the next product. And here it is, it's the Instant Anti-Age um, Concealer from Maybelline and it's in the shade, uh, let me see, 01 Light. And this is also a product that I've already used before. Um, my other one is nearly empty, so I just needed a new one. I totally forgot about this concealer because I've used it for so many years and then I just stopped using it because I found the liquid camouflage concealer but a few weeks ago I found it again somewhere um, here in the back in my drawer um, because I was looking for a concealer that fits um, to my foundation because all the other concealers were a little bit too light and this color is perfect I'm also wearing it right now and I still love this concealer, to be honest, um, it's still one of my favorites just because it's so full coverage, it covers all my darkness underneath my eyes and another great thing is that it doesn't dry out my under eye area, it's, it's just good and it covers my dark circles, so that's the main reason I love it. So if you have dark circles, I can totally recommend this concealer to you. Let's move on to lashes and I've got four different ones from Revlon. There is no name on it, so I don't know. They looked uh, not like this on the website or I think. Um, but I think the last two ones are okay. They are not too long and they look, I would say, very no, not extremely natural, but more natural than the two ones um, here, right above, because they look, especially this second one, looks so unrealistic and unreal. I don't know if I will use them or maybe if I'm doing a doll makeup look. I think then these second lashes would fit perfectly. Um, so yeah, maybe if you see me using this, then I'm doing a doll or Barbie makeup look. And you have to apply them with lash glue. So yeah, let's see. Um, I don't know what to think about these lashes, but yeah, it's okay. They haven't been very expensive, so okay. So now I've got three other products. They are nearly the same, only the color is different. And I'm speaking of NYX glitters. This one is called Lumilight and it's a very beautiful and white shade. Um, then I've got here Vegas Baby. Um, it's also extremely beautiful and it has a, I would say, champagne color. And the third one is called Goldstone. It's a more brownish color yeah, or copper color something like this and I really love glitter and especially now for New Year's Eve and Christmas I just decided um, I need 
new glitters. So I think I will definitely use one of these glitters in my New Year's Eve makeup look. I think maybe this white one or this champagne one. Moving on to the next product and oh it's also from NYX and I swear this video is not sponsored by NYX. I just found so many products that I always or wanted to have for such a long time. So that's the reason why I have so many NYX products now. And this one is the Tinted Bra Mascara. And it's in the shade, um, here it is, chocolate. And it's uh, just a bra mascara just to set the um, eyebrows, eyebrows in place. Um, yeah, I just needed a new one because my old one is from Catrice. And it's time to throw it away because I have it too long. I think it's it's not even more available um, at the Catrice Corners, so definitely time to throw it away. Um, it's pretty big. I don't think. No, it's not waterproof. Yeah, it's just a tinted brow mascara. It has a little brush. I hope the color fits because it's also always a problem. But. So guys, now you've seen all my new makeup products that I've bought at the Black Friday week and I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video and before you leave this channel, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because we are so close to 400 subscribers and it would be amazing if you could help me out to reach this goal and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, have a nice day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!